Nick the Beard with uh, Metal Gods TV and I'm with Cobra and the Lotus. Oh, I'm Pat from Cobra and the Lotus. I'm Chris. I'm Brittany Page. Octobus. Great stuff. And you're promoting a new album at the moment, is that right? Uh, yeah, we just released this album in the UK in September, late September I think, right? And has it been well received, do you think? been pretty well received. Um, we've had an awesome UK tour and the response at all the shows were, were really wicked so so far so good. Yeah. Is it the first time you come to the UK? Second time in the UK, uh, first UK tour though. Last time we were in the UK we actually just went to London and did a festival um, for two days and went back home and this has been the first extensive tour so that's great. And have you got more plans after this in the UK or are you going going away for after this sort of pestating gig? Uh, I think we want to get back here within a year, yeah. hopefully, because we're going to try to release a new album in the late spring, I think. So hopefully within the next year again, we'll be back, yeah. And what can people expect from your set? Is it to dynamic or is it just going to be... Uh, rock it out? Yeah, hopefully it'll just be like another rock and yeah. album, yeah. And uh, when are you playing? Later today, is it? Or have you uh, been we on? played last night, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I always miss the, I always miss the <laughs> shows. Always. I'm stuck in this place. It's annoying. Um, what, what was the crowd like? Were they alright? Um, at the start, there were actually quite a few people there. You know, I don't know how what the number would be, but as we played, people just kept coming in, and we got a really good reception. Yeah. The response was great. I mean, everybody was really into it. Some of the people were singing the lyrics, I guess, and, and yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Is there a country that you guys would love to go to touring? Oh, there's several. <laughs> yeah, Japan. Japan. Would be amazing. Japan would I mean, rule. it seems like every type of scene is just huge there. And so anything extreme or whatever, you know, like anything from Prague is just huge. Anything from there, really. Yeah. 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 yeah, Japan, and then I'd probably say uh, Greece or Italy. Yeah, I'd love to. Or Germany, you know, Germany would be the world. The world. <laughs> India. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what do you guys do when you're away, away from metal? Um, I, you know, I love metal, but I also listen and I play other different kinds of music. Like I love fusion and like prog rock, like old 70s prog rock and prog metal. So for the most part, it's metal, but I'll listen to anything really. You know, I'll play anything. We're all into lots of different type of music. Yeah. About any type of music you can think of, one of us is into it. I'm very much into the rock and pop sort of Nickelbacks and Green Days and, and that type of stuff. So. Does that influence your writing at all? You mean, do you try and bring all the different genres into it? I don't think any of us really tries to bring in any any specific thing to the table. I think it just kind of comes out how, how, it, how it is or whatever, you know? That's the cool thing about the second album, too, is um, it, it is going to be a very dynamic al album because we're going to kind of mash up the genres that everyone's influenced in, and there's a lot of different kinds of uh, metal, even alone, that we all listen to. I mean, there's, like, progressive influences, and there's old-school influences, and uh, there's a lot of death metal influences, like a drummer came from a death metal band. So it's cool. It's going to be great. And what do you think to this place, to this setup? Is have you been to anything like it before? Uh, no, not quite like this. This so is many awesome. Pirates. I've never seen so many pirates in my life. <laughs> it's so sweet, though. I love pirates. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody seems to comment on how relaxed it is, and people, are, even the bands, are mixing with all the fans, which is you don't get many other places, do you? Yeah, it's really like I don't. Know, I think it's a really awesome atmosphere. It's really you know friendly. There's a really good vibe between bands and like fans. Everyone's super friendly here. Easy to meet people. You know, it's it's great. And uh, who have you guys met on your travels? You know, any of your heroes? Uh, a couple of the guys from Airborne, I met them last night. I've been a huge fan of those guys for the last couple of years. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah. Is there, is there a band that you'd love to tour with? No, there's quite a few. Um, I'd say like uh, I don't know who are we tour with today. Like I think something like Avenged Sevenfold would be amazing. Yeah. Just the level where they're at in metal. It's just to get to that point would be amazing. And just to be a part of it on a tour would be mind blowing. Such a big influence on every member in the band. That's one of the common influences of Venge, so that'd be awesome. I think it would be flipping awesome. Yeah. So you say you could want to come back to the UK after Christmas. I mean, is there anything definite lined up? Uh, not that I know of, no. Uh, yeah, well, we're actually just going into the studio right when we get back. So um, when that album comes out, hopefully March, um, 
we'll probably plan to get back here two times within the year, at least, yeah. And uh, finally, is there anything you'd like to say to the UK audience out there? Keep, Keep on metal. rocking, yeah. <laughs> Yeah.